Matthew Kidman is an ambitious high school senior who dreams of a political career. He has been accepted to the prestigious Georgetown University. Still, he can only afford it if he can win a large scholarship. With graduation approaching, he struggles to find anything memorable about his high school experience. However, his luck changes when he meets his beautiful next-door neighbor Danielle. The outlandish Danielle and the steady Matthew each turn out to be the perfect complement for the other, and they immediately like each other. However, the relationship is challenged when Matthew discovers through his porn enthusiast friend Eli, that Danielle was recently an adult film actress, under the stage name Athena. Following Eli's advice on how to deal with this incredible revelation, Matthew takes Danielle to a sleazy motel. Danielle guesses that Matthew has discovered her past and punishes him by performing a strip tease and offering herself to him sexually. When Matthew becomes distressed and asks why she is degrading herself for him, Danielle calls him out on his base intentions and abruptly ends the relationship. Matthew goes to Danielle's house the following day. He attempts to reconcile with her but learns she is returning to the porn industry and leaving for Las Vegas with her ex-boyfriend, porn producer Kelly. Matthew, riddled with guilt and remorse, follows Danielle to Las Vegas to find her performing at an adult film convention. Kelly menacingly warns Matthew not to interfere with his business. When Matthew convinces Danielle not to rejoin the industry, Kelly abducts Matthew from school and physically assaults him, saying that Danielle's failure to arrive on set has cost him $30,000. Kelly offers to let him erase his debt by breaking into rival producer Hugo Pasha's home to steal an award statuette. Still, after Matthew has entered the house, Kelly calls in a robbery report and leaves the premises. Matthew narrowly avoids the police and rushes to his scholarship award dinner. High on ecstasy that Kelly told him was aspirin, he improvises a profoundly sentimental speech but loses out on the scholarship to a student who resembles nothing. Kelly then gets his money back by stealing the $25,000 Matthew raised, to bring a Cambodian student named Sam Nong to study in the United States. Not wanting to explain his connections to the adult film industry, Matthew had previously introduced Kelly to the bank staff as his student advisor. Although Matthew has done nothing wrong, he still fears that he will face expulsion or criminal charges for his unwitting role in the fraud, and he turns to Danielle for help. Danielle calls in a few friends from her days as a porn star, and they agree to make a video for Hugo Posh on prom night and on school grounds. After the successful shoot, and after Eli has been dropped off with the tape's master copy, Danielle and Matthew make love for the first time in their limousine. The following day Matthew is shocked to find Kelly in possession of the tape he has stolen from Eli's home, with his parents and school principal at the dining room table. Kelly asks to speak privately with Matthew and says that he will play the tape immediately unless he is given half of all profits. Following Danielle's earlier advice to go with it, Matthew refuses because the money rightfully belongs to Samnong. Kelly repeats his threat, but Matthew stands up for himself and dares him, stating that he no longer cares about his now ruined future. As the tape begins to play, it becomes clear that Matthew and his friends have made a progressive comprehensive sex education tape, rather than a pornographic film. With no more cards left to play, Kelly finally admits defeat. Hugo Posh and Matthew make millions from the video. Hugo Posh keeps his word and pays for Sam Nong to come to the USA. At the same time, Matthew has enough money to attend Georgetown and take Danielle to DC. The final scene is Matthew driving into Georgetown University in a BMW Z4. Matthew's story ends with him getting the girl of his dreams and a chance at the future he has always wanted.